Our next exercise is we're going to utilize the elastic cord. Bill's got it hooked up here to the handle on the bleachers. And make sure you hook it up to a stable um, a contact point because you don't want the cord slipping or that or what you got hooked up to slipping. Now Bill's just going to grab the bat. We got the cord wrapped around the bat. You can do this in three segments or you can do it all at once. Um, let's demonstrate the three segments first. Hips first and then Bill could bring the bat into the contact zone and then the finish. And the finish I think is the real important part of this exercise because if you go, let's go through that again Bill. If you go through the hips it's real good because it's stable. This will teach to stabilize the hands. And then as he comes through the contact point, what is really hard, I mean, this bill is really working here and trying to stabilize this bat through, is that now this finish is you've got to stay, 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 and then finish so that your hands are not rolling over quickly in the swing. Because when you roll over quickly in the swing, you're going to roll over the ball. But if we go through here, let's go through it one more time, Bill. If you go hips here, now it forces him to really stay and, this, and then come right up really helps the hitter stay through the ball. You want to do a couple just uh, medium speed? Notice when your, your toe is here, when I turn the hip, the heel drops to that position. Now mm -hmm. I can bring the bat through. Oh. And again, he's, and watch as he's coming through here. When he gets to here, now it's palm up, palm down with his hands. And then he continues that all the way through contact and after the ball will have left the bat. So this is really going to drive home some upper body hitting mechanics. Our next drill is going to be similar to our one knee uh, core drill, except we're going to be standing up, we're going to incorporate the total body into this exercise. Again, we have the cord hooked up to the hook on the bleachers, stable uh, position. Bill's going to set his hands, and he's going to first take stride, then his hips are going to go. Notice his hands didn't move here, because now he's got to stabilize, and those hands, now you're building strength to stabilize those hands. Then his hips go through, and then he comes in palm up, palm down, and then finishes the swing. Go through that one more time. Again, the whole swing. So now, step, hips, and now the hands are coming through. Now right here is where this gets really tough. Gets tough in two spots, right here, and then right here, because what happens is the wrists want to turn, because this, this is really you know, making Bill work here with his forearms, but you got to stay through it, stay through it, and then finish. That little extra bit there, that little extra strength building that's going to go on is really going to help the hitters. You want to go through a couple more, Bill? Hips. Turn, come up and through. Beautiful. You go through a little quicker too. And again, as the hitters get stronger and stronger, they can do this also a lot quicker, full speed. That's not Bill's full speed swing, but it's pretty close. And then also too is you can work with the tension of the cord. You can get cords with greater tension. Okay, go ahead. Do move closer to the wall. Yeah, you can move closer to the wall as well. Good. You want to go try one full speed? Good. Again, Bill's been working with these exercises you know, a good portion of his life. It takes time to build up to the point where you can control that bat full speed. But then once the hitters remove the cord, you'll find that their ability to stabilize and the quickness of their bat will be greatly improved. Our next exercise, we're going to use, utilize the bat and the cord. Now what Bill's going to do is going to wrap the cord up underneath and behind him. He's going to put it thumb to thumb. You can just do this by tying little loops in the end of the cord. And they actually make cords with the loops. And he's going to take it behind and make sure it's wrapped underneath the armpits. Okay? If it's too far on the back, it could slide up and hit you in the back. He's going to take the bat. And basically what he's going to do is he's going to take his cuts. And what this prevents him from doing is he can't cast the bat because this keeps him nice and compact. It'll keep the back arm into the body where we want and keep the front elbow working up to the ball. So you just want to take a couple cuts, Bill, with the cord. <clears throat> yeah, and he's separating now into two different positions. Good. Good. And as he's getting more comfortable, he's picking up speed with his swing. Good. Good. Again. Good. Again. Good. One more. Good. Now what we can also do is you can hold those positions. So get to the first position, Bill, and just give the hips. <clears throat> so step and hips. Now he's got to hold it and he's stabilizing this position. So he's learning to maintain this position and then come forward. You can go step one and then through the ball and then finish.
So you can break it up into different steps. This is a drill that's really good, and some um, of our players have incorporated a weighted bat in with this drill. The only thing with the weighted bat is you, don't, you want to make sure that they can handle the weight of the bat that it doesn't get so heavy that it changes the mechanics of the swing. You always want to be practicing in a manner that can duplicate the swing and not make the swing harder to, to achieve.